So I actually like already filmed this. I just have to redo it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a very, very much awaited video today because I have been planning this video since January. Meaning I have been stocking up on all these products and waiting till this very point right now. So in case you've never seen an empties video, these are all products that I've completely used up. These are 110% my honest opinion. Most of these are amazing products. There are a couple duds. So I hope this video isn't too, too long. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. Also, before I forget, I hit a... Uh, not a thousand, I almost said a thousand. I hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube this past Sunday, and I can't tell you how cool that is to me. I'm so, so happy to have the most amazing supporters ever. You guys are so kind to me. It really, really, really makes me so happy to see you guys leaving comments and letting me know that you like the work that I'm doing here. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys because I know this video is going to be long already, so I'm going to go ahead and get into these products, and because it's starting to get dark. Introducing a broken Target bag with all the lovely, lovely goodies. Let's see, what are we going to do here? I'm just going to... Ah! Okay, I guess we're starting out with foundation. This is um, CoverGirl and Olay CC Cream. It's a tone correcting foundation. So what it is meant to do is hydrate your face, tone correct, and act, just act as a foundation and cover everything up. And cover anything up that you don't want. To be peeking out. Oh, when I filmed this video earlier, I had everything just perfect and exactly what to say, and now I don't. Anyway, so I absolutely loved this foundation. It was so creamy on my skin. I, my skin is so, so bipolar. Sometimes it will go more oily, and sometimes it will go more dry. So in the time that my skin is dry, this foundation works so well because it hydrates throughout the day and it feels so good on my skin. I already have sensitive skin so I have to be really careful what I put on my face. This is like one of the most soothing foundations and color correcting foundations I've ever used. I know it's a little bit pricey for a drugstore foundation. I want to say it was around $15. Um, this is something I used during the summer when I was really oily and needed some kind of strong waterproof base. I use the Smashbox BB Cream Camera Ready and it has SPF 35. Um, so this is just, um, it says it's a 5-in-1 BB Cream. Um, it primes, perfects, protects, hydrates, and controls oil. I can honestly say it does absolutely everything that it says it does. Um, I just did just get the sample but I used it for the entire summer and didn't need to buy an extra for the summer. So um, this is about all you need. So my next one is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And what it claims to do is have a lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer, blendability of a foundation, and all-in-one. And it's supposed to be shine-free as well. Um, I can totally vouch for that. It is definitely full coverage. It blends super easily and um, doesn't feel very heavy at all. And oh my gosh, this lasts so long. I also have the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, and this is easily comparable to MAC Pro Longwear, and it just feels so good and hydrating on my skin as well. That's one thing I really like to look for in a foundation, is something that's going to hydrate my skin a lot and make it actually feel healthier. So anyways, I love this foundation. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing this as soon as possible, especially for the winter months when I need something that's going to last all day and hydrate at the same time. This is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is my baby. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. As you can tell, I mean, I own four of them. I can't throw them away. I love how creamy these are, especially since I was going through that dry spat and am now going back into the dry spat. I wish... Oh man, I wish there's a foundation just like this. Please tell me if there's something like this, but in foundation form, please, because I'd be using it every day. My next concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this concealer. Um, I do really, really like this concealer, not for spot correcting because I don't think it has enough coverage and it's a little bit too thin. But I really like it for highlighting. And it works so well. It blends so easily. Being back to another one. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. And it is a green primer to help cancel out redness. Um, it claims to fill in fine lines and create a flawless finish. Yes, it does. 
But, oh my gosh, I love e.l.f. and I'm such a fan of e.l.f. But you guys have to see this. So, I bought this not too long ago and I ran out of it surprisingly quick. So, I decided to do a little test and I decided to open it up. So, I screwed off the bottom and then if you screw off the top, it reveals how much primer is actually in this container. So, I thought, like any other person would think, that the whole thing was filled. Only this much, sorry, this much. It's filled. The bottom's not right here. It's way the heck down there. Come on, with the packaging, they want us to think there's a lot of product in here. And with only that much primer, you're still getting a good deal. It's just disappointing because that's false advertising. Come on, guys. But it's okay because I have another primer. This one is the Benefit Pore Professional. And uh, when I first started using this, I was not impressed, honestly. Um, I just would kind of rub it all over my face and expect my pores to just vanish out of thin air because that's what it claims to do. When I finally started playing around with it though, I realized that smoothing it wasn't really going to do anything. You actually have to like press it into your nose, into your bigger pores, and that's what makes it work. So yeah, the first two or three times I didn't like it, but once I started figuring out how to use it and how to make it work with my skin, I absolutely fell in love with it. I use this for no makeup makeup looks to just kind of smooth out my skin and make it look a little more flawless. So the next one is this Burt's Bee Herbal Blemish Stick. This helps to completely disappear my pimples overnight. The formula is amazing. It smells just like black licorice and peppermint. Yeah, I think it's a great natural acne product. The only thing I don't like about this is the roller ball. It goes with the whole sanitation thing. I just don't like the idea of rolling the same ball over all of my pimples. I'd rather take like a q-tip and put a cream on and dab it on. But you can't use a q-tip with this. Like, you have to roll it on to get product out. So it doesn't work very sanitary well, sanitarily. Well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mention two serums. This one is the um, Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. This is probably my favorite serum I've ever used. It is a brightening and anti-aging serum, so it's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and brighten your skin and help even out any dark spots or redness. Yeah, whenever you apply it, it like immediately starts working on your skin. I really recommend this product. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, I've got another serum. So, this one is also a vitamin C serum. Does not smell the same, but has, ugh, yeah, does not smell the same. It's Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. This one is a lot more hydrating and moisturizing than the other serum. So the other one is a more brightening serum. This one just like rejuvenates your skin and hydrates it, helps reduce visible signs of aging, brighten uneven skin tone, and smooth overall texture. It's intensely hydrating. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, so my last skincare, I consider this a skincare. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, um, infused with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well it does to help your makeup last, but I do know that it's really, really nice and hydrating for your skin. Every time I spray it, it just has this like fresh, soft tingle on my face that feels so good and I, I can feel it like instantly working and hydrating my skin. It does leave a dewy finish. It also works as a fix plus when applying any kind of makeup that you want to appear more pigmented. You can spray it on your brushes, not on the product directly. Try that. It's not work. <laughs> so you can spray it directly on the brushes and it will help intensify your makeup. This one I've had since January just sitting in this broken Target bag just waiting to be talked about. I'm so sorry. So this is the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray in Extreme Hold. If you're in sports, or dance, or I don't know, I don't know if you do anything that you don't want hair like coming into your face, this stuff is the bomb. It keeps every little fly away out of your face. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does make your hair a little bit crispy. Um, like I wouldn't recommend spraying it on the ends of your hair because it makes it all like crunchy and crispy and I do not want my hair to look like it's coated in hairspray. It does make your hair look hard, it's just a perfect hairspray if you want everything out of your face. So this is the Degree Emotion Sense Fresh Energy 48 Hour Protection Deodorant. Maybe like 
three hour protection. This may have worked for you guys, I don't know, but for me it did not work. Gel deodorants do not work for me. I had just stuck to stick. Stuck to stick. But this one just, just didn't work for me. Three hours later I smelt my own BO. Not that I have like a huge BO problem, because I don't. But if I don't wear deodorant, like I'm gonna smell something. And this made me smell something and it was not fresh energy. Okay, and this is my most loved, <laughs> my most loved perfume in the world. It's the Aqua D, not gonna even pronounce it, G-I-O-I-A by Giorgio Armani. And this is, oh my gosh, I just love it. It's a very mature and fresh slash nighttime scent. How do you even explain it? It smells like, hold on, give me a sec. I don't really know. I'm sorry, I don't really know. I just go smell it in stores, but I'm not about to get high smelling this perfume to explain it to you guys. But it is an amazing perfume. It is so long wearing. I could not ever get it off my clothes when I sprayed it. Even when I put it through the wash, I could, I could still smell the perfume on it. It sticks to your skin like crazy. It sticks to your clothes. Like, it is so long wearing, and that's probably one of the reasons why I love it so much. But I also just love this smell. I've been wearing this since I was in high school, and I just need a new one. So the next one is this Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. It is a felt tip pointy eyeliner in like a dark, dark black. Um, I do love this eyeliner because of how pointy it is and how easy it is to get a cat eye. But you know when you use an expo marker on a whiteboard and like when you try to like color something on the whiteboard, sometimes it removes the product instead of applying it. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how like this thing is. Like when it's new and it's fresh and wet, like, it kind of removes the product instead of applying it. But, um, once it starts to dry out a little bit, it's like the best thing in the world. It's just that those couple, like, weeks that it just, uh, it's not the best, it's not the best, but then it gets, like, amazing. So, you know, um, if you can get past that part or if you can be really, really patient with it and learn to work with it before it starts to dry out, then it's a great product. Oh! I love Maybelline, but this was just, like, sad. This was the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner, and I don't even know why I finished this in the first place. It was a brown roll-up, like, twisty pencil liner, and it was, like, there was no pigment. It smudged. It faded throughout the day. Like, it wouldn't keep, like, a nice color. It would break off. Like, I don't know if I just got, like, a really bad one or if they're just all like that in general, but I just did not like this eyeliner. <sighs> That's all I'm going to say about it. This is my most loved and I've talked about this several times and I'm sorry I keep re-emphasizing it but I know there are new people watching this video and I just got to tell you. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and it's so great. It's so like voluminous and lengthening. It just has everything that a mascara should have in my book. Because there's so little product in here, it's really easy to get nice, gorgeous eyelashes that actually look natural. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. I can now throw away all of these empty products and start stocking up on some new ones. I have some really, really cool videos coming up very soon for y'all that I'm super excited about. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.